Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to do a paint comparison. Just a really quick, this is a really quick video just to give you guys a sense of um, the variation that you get when you're doing um, when you're using different paints. So here I have in this container I have Reeves Rose Madden which is kind of like a crimson red and in this container I have my beloved Reno Art crimson red. Now my question is why would I buy $6.50 for this one which is 75 mils and I can pay $2.50 for 100 mils there's definitely a difference in the thickness this one's definitely thicker than this one um, so probably in the end you might get a closer to the amount that they um, Like it's not going to be a huge difference. Um, I'm just pouring on some of my uh, house paint, acrylic white. Uh, it's a semi-gloss spring, and it's from Bunnings. And I'm using a home to spread it because that's what others do I'm not sure if I agree but there we go this is just an example we're playing today people so let's zoom you in so you get to see what's actually going on So, just so that we keep a track, this one is Reno Art, and this one is Reeves, and they've been mixed. Oh, there they haven't. Let's make sure that they're mixed to the right consistency. Hold on a second. Okay, so they're now similar consistency. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of little plays on here and see how they they play with the other paints. I'm going to do identical plays on each side. And as you know, when you do identical, it never turns out identical. Straight away, I can see a difference in the color. Uh, e -e -e -e. there's definitely a deeper slightly orange orangier on orangier color with the rose matter than the crimson uh, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this this is the Reeves orange I'm gonna put a dollop there and a dollop there oops it's a lot more and then this is the Reeves phthalo blue which is runnier And this is the Reno Art Lemon Yellow. Okay. And I'm just going to swipe. 
Uh, which way do I swipe? <laughs> do I swipe? That way? On that one? And then I'm going to use the other end of the stick and swipe. That way, on that one. So other than the red, these are identical. And I just want you to see what shows up and how it shows up. Okay. Can you tell which one had silicon in? <laughs> now, I can't remember which end of the stick I used for which one, so I'm just going to... Come back across... With a little bit of white in there. See what that does. Do, 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 do. Now, one of the things that I hear people saying on comments on the acrylic pouring for fun group and also in the comments of my videos is that they never get the results that they think they're going to get. I highly recommend you play with your play with your paints. Do little experiments like this. See what they do to each other. What colours do they create? How do they play with together? What are you going to get with them? Okay. I'm still really seeing a very pinkness in here, which I'm not getting with the rose matter so much there is a bit of pink in there but not so much okay so what experiments can you do to play with your paints to see how they interact with each other? Okay, so that's one one experiment. Let's move that out of the way. Now, let's go again. Reeves, Renault. There's no right and wrong here, guys. It's just looking at what does it create is it fun is it joyful is it creating what you desire and if it's not change it if it is awesome um it's so funny like we all have been brought up with this point of view that there is a right and wrong in the art world and beauty is in the eye of the beholder my sweet people and if you are uh, what if there was no such thing as judgment on the planet what if everything just was and you if you liked it you liked it if you didn't like it you didn't like it there was no right or wrong good or bad oh how much more fun would we all have on the planet 
Okay, so that, I'm just ticky touring around with the colors here. Okay. I just want to get a sense as to what they do. How do they play together? Because I do a lot of work with my, my white. So it's really important to me that they play together well. Now, might zoom you. Oh, you're not zoomed in. Ah, what did you miss? What I want to zoom you in on is down here. And I'm hoping you can see it. You may or may not. Um, so in this blob here, it is slightly doing a crystalline-ish line around the edge. Whereas if I go take you over to this one, it is a clean, crystal clear line. Which is interesting, because I've had it do that Sally thing before. And you never really know what's going to happen till it's dry, guys. So again, play with it and then leave it to dry. Play with it and see what happens. Um, now, you know, do things like a blob of blue and a blob of red. And then get a straw. Where's my straw gone? Always have a packet of straws. Don't rely on only having one. <laughs> I'm going to turn this around. Wow, there's a real difference between the amount of lacing I got with the Reeves, yes you can see that, and with the Renault Art. Um, you know, and that's shown up here in this one as well. The difference is quite considerable. So even though I blew these two quite differently, we've got a real lacing going on in here which matches with the real lacing over here. Like, I've got to remember the only difference is which red I've got in here. Um, and just trying to see if that same thing is going to happen a second time or was it just a fluke? You know, it's play, play, play and know what your colours do. If you need to add some more to try again, do that. Look, I got the... Alright, so there's a piece of information. If you really like lacing, you'd go with that one. But if you don't like the lacing, you'd go with that one. It's not just about... Um, in the background so you can it's not just about color guys it's how it interacts um, how does it interact with silicon that's always a good question to ask um, I'm just gonna put a drop of silicon on my paper over here and then use my pen to drop to mix some into there, clean my pen off, 
and mix them into there. I don't know whether that's actually enough to create anything in either of them. Yes, yes it is. Um, notice the difference. Notice how, you know, when you've got in here and in here, is there a particle size difference? You know, that's what a lot of people talk about is the difference between um, qualities of paint, like the amount you pay per is the, the fineness of the pigment particles and the quantity of pigment in the paint. So it's really, it's about playing and discovering what's going to happen. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but this reno, uh, red is really breaking apart when it's hit the silicon in here. And we don't seem to have had quite the dynamic change in here. So if I blow where the silicon was, what happens? You know, are we going to get this dynamic breaking apart again? So play with your colours guys, play with your paints, play with different brands. See what's fun for you, see what, you know, and in one painting you might be looking for a particular look. So you use one type of paint, and in another painting you might be looking for a different look, so you'd use the other one. It really is personal taste, and you know what? A great piece of art is when the artist loves it. It really doesn't matter about what anybody else thinks about your art. If you love it, that's awesome. And if someone else loves it and wants to give you money for it, how does it get any better than that? Now I'm going to get you down and show you what I'm seeing if I can. Hopefully the... Um, camera will capture this okay so in the reeves i'm seeing quite a shadowing effect now i've had this quite a lot before with the blue and i'm seeing it happening on the blue as well Can you see that tiny little, oh here comes a plane, where's my finger, there it is, can you see down here, this tiny little shadowing effect, now try it again, see if it replicates, see if that happens again, it's slightly there on the Renault art, not quite so pronounced, but then if I move up over here, where, where did I just see that? You've still got that shadowing effect up there too. So it's not just the Reeves that's doing it. So this is that breaking up I was talking about. It's got quite jagged edges. Whereas if I go over here slightly more blended edges so what look are you after what paint will give you that look but now you can really see that difference oops sorry you can really see that difference between the two colors and um, you know once they get would adding some white to the red matter actually bring it down to a color similar in which case you would get an even more money for your bang for your buck 
you know? What's it going to create, guys? What do you desire? And play with it. Experiment with it. Play with your paints. If you're not playing with your paints, you're not having enough fun. <laughs> Anytime painting gets serious, do something different. Really? If you're not having fun, why are you doing it? What if the purpose of life was to have fun? Are you getting any? Are you having any? Quite like this this bit here. It's got some funky shapes in it. All right, beautiful ones. I adore you, and I will see you again super super soon. Bye bye. All right, so here they are, dry, and I'm trying to stay out of all of my lighting because. <laughs> It's night time. I have been helping my friend move today and uh, no painting, just lots of cleaning. The joys of buying a new home. Um, so, yeah, they've come out really well. Let me get you down and show you what I'm aware of. One of the cool things is that my white has not crazed in any way. Okay, so let's start over here. This is the the first one we did. And I want to show you just how different they, the two colours are, really. But I also want to show you the difference in cells. They're so cool. Look at these ones. This is the Renault art. I really like these. They're pink. Would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all your points of view about different colours? <laughs> ah, funny. I like it. There's hardly any red in that area. Mostly it's orange. But then we come down to this area. I can't get it to, to zoom properly. So, really quality-wise between the Renault Art and the Reeves, I'm not seeing a huge difference with regards to particle size um, or anything like that once it has dried. The big difference still that stands out to me over here is the difference between the way they behaved. Sorry about the shadow of my phone. The way that they behaved when I blew them with the straw. Really very, very different. Um, and again, that behavior with the silicon. Oh, looking at that up close, there is a slight amount of crazing in there from the silicon on the white. But over here with the Reeves, there was absolutely no problems at all. So, as I said earlier in the video, it's super, super, super your own choice. Your own point of view about what's what you're looking for, really. So what is it do you love? What is it you like? And would you be willing to play with your paints until you discover the look you desire? What if there is no right and there is no wrong? What if for you, no cells is perfect? What if for you... Um, crazing is exactly what you like. What else is possible? What do you desire? And how much fun can you have discovering it? Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I adore you, and I will be back tomorrow with 
the dried um, mask that we did on the live class as well as um, my dried version of this month's challenge. So this month's challenge for the Acrylic Pouring for Fun group is thanks to Carolyn Smith of Wellington, grey and lemon yellow. Now here's a teaser. I use lemon yellow, grey made from um, Mars black and titanium white and I also used grey in the form of silver. What magic are you creating? I'm about to go and create the event page for you to share all of yours on there and how much fun can we have? If you haven't already joined us on Acrylic Prong for Fun, come join us. Just go to Facebook and search for Acrylic Pouring for Fun. And uh, yeah, come play. See you soon. Bye-bye.